we're here in Cody's new car. First time in uh, Bellatrix. Bellatrix. <laughs> Cody named his car Bellatrix. Um, for the what's her, what is she? She's a she's not a Death Eater, right? What's she's her? a Death Eater. Is she? Yeah, she's a Death Eater. But she's like a she's, she's higher. She's up. the most hated because she's the woman who killed Sirius Black. And she was in not what's it called the the prison for like the prisoner long, of Azkaban. Yeah. yeah, she was she was tortured in Azkaban for a long time. Yeah. Welcome back to another podcast. This is the fourth podcast. This is our first video podcast. We ask you guys to send in a bunch of questions. And so while I'm driving Blake to the airport right now, we're gonna just take a bunch of questions and have ourselves a good little chat. So sit back and hang out with us. That's the plan for this video. Yeah, so the uh, the camera might work, might not be uh, <laughs> <laughs> up to standard. <laughs> We're in a car and I'm just holding it. I was like, Cody, you could just drive and hold it, but you might be able to I guess that might be a little, little dangerous. A little lower. A little lower? Well, well like, if you, is there any way you can rest the camera at all? So that know. you can one hand this it. It's fine. pretty heavy too, huh? This is fine. Is it fine? Yeah. Okay. It's well, fine. everyone's like, turn the camera on. You're welcome. The turn it on? No, that's what people say in the comments on the on the podcast. They're like, can you just turn a camera on? For what? When we're doing the podcast, like they oh, want to see us. Oh, I know, I know. That's coming. Bus. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. This will well, be the first one, I guess. We just got out of practice, and this morning I did a Coley sprint workout. We did a bunch of power testing. If you watch this week's vlog, you'll be able to see a bunch of it. It was pretty cool. Dude, Coley said one thing to me in practice, actually, I was going to tell you, that like made me completely switch gears that I like hadn't really thought about. He was like, I don't care about your endurance. He's like, I don't care if you die right now. All I care about is max power output. So right. like as much wattage as physically possible for short periods of time. Whoa. Cause like I'm kind of hardwired to, <laughs> <laughs> it's raining. Cause I'm like kind of hardwired to just like go a certain speed for a long period of time. Yeah. Cause like a lot of times that's how Bray's breaststroke practices are. But right when he said that I was like, okay, go to failure. So I like sprinted, died. And then recovered, and then sprinted, died. You it's recovered just, though? Well, I, <laughs> whenever just, I do that, it's just like a downhill. It's like just, it's just different. But right when he said it, I was like, "Oh man, I find it fun. It was fun." Yeah. Yeah. You want to do some questions? So yeah. Oh, but I wanted to say oh. I hate that Bellatrix because she killed Dobby. You know? Yeah. She's, she I hate her. her. <laughs> she threw that knife. She's through a the, mean woman. Yeah. Man. That's that's the perfect game for this car though. Oh, it's, it's an evil. Vicious, it's an evil. Vicious, mean, all black. Yeah. Kind of car. yeah. Should we show them the car a little bit, the inside? I mean, it's I not super see. fancy, but yeah, compared to my old car, do you guys remember my old car? Oh, I remember. For those of you who have watched all the vlogs, the windshield was like caved in. Yeah, this one has both this one has windshield, windshield wipers. Both windshield wipers were. <laughs> what luxury. Oh, we have heated seats. Goodness wow. gracious, it's such a luxury. <laughs> it is, I mean, it is a luxury car, but it, like, it's really luxurious for someone like me. Yeah. You have been the biggest proponent of getting a car <laughs> after the Olympics. I thought I was, was gonna like... die. In the other one. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, it was it was a death trap. The noises sure. that thing made. It was so bad. Jesus. It was so bad. What are your top three favorite movies? Oh, I can't. It's a hard one down. for Cody. Dude, I have like a top ten that's constantly changing. Movies that were always there, like my all-time favorite movie, is Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I loved that movie as a little kid. I know you're gonna say Warrior. That's one of my favorites yeah. too. Warrior. You know what movie I find myself like watching so frequently though? What? The first Dark, like The Dark Knight. Oh, it's so movie. good. I watched that movie. In I theaters. just like Bane's character so much. Oh, and, like that's the third one. Bane, Bane oh, is that's the right. That's you like right. that one more? Yeah, I like wow, that. Wow, you're in the minority. I it's like a good that movie, one. but dang, man. You know what? I, so I watched last night was uh, First Man with Ryan Gosling. The, the you know where he plays Neil Armstrong, first guy on the moon. Okay, he's incredible. Incredible. I couldn't believe how well done it was. Right. Anyway. So other two? Uh, well, if I had to pick another two. Uh, the, so the the original Ocean's Eleven remake with George Clooney and Brad Pitt. I, You know, as a kid growing up in Vegas, I watched that movie and they were just so cool. Like, Brad Pitt and George Clooney are so suave and cool and I just like wanted to be like them. I yeah. Love, I love that movie. Mm -hmm. That's another one. Um, really like Inception. Uh, it's a phenomenal movie. Yeah. We've talked that about that movie. That was a good movie. Nauseam. Yeah. Such a good movie. I, I don't know, I it's just, hard there's, there's to, so I really many. like Tron actually, so, the uh, um, the one with the Daft Punk the mix one? in it, yeah that's a good yeah, one, I like that was that. a really good one, yeah. really good one. You know what question I get all the time, and I'm going to answer this while you read and pick, pick another what? question, people ask me all the time, if I wasn't sponsored by Tier, what would I wear, or what company did I like, yeah. I can't answer that question, people don't understand, <laughs> I, I, like, I physically can't talk about that kind of stuff, because like, 
I'm under contract with a certain company that I have to be loyal to. So like, I can't try out other suits. <laughs> People are like, what do you think of the arena suit or the Mizuno suit? Like, I can't wear them. I'm not allowed to. So like, <laughs> I don't know. I can't, like, and I, 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 I can't say that publicly. Like, I can't denounce my company publicly. I always <laughs> find that If you weren't gonna funny. wear it too, like. <laughs> Yeah, I always find that so funny when people ask me that. Yeah. I can't uh, talk about that Do you have any pets? Uh, this one, I mean, they tagged me. I do not have any pets in my house, but at my parents' house, uh, my parents have a lot of pets. We have... You're gonna get a dog soon though, right? Yeah, I'll need to get a house though before a dog, I think. Are you taking this right here? Yeah, this yeah. way is definitely faster. Um, definitely faster. Yeah. At my parents' house, we have two dogs, four cats, three horses, oh, <laughs> a bird, a some, farm boy. some chickens. Yeah. Holy crap, we're coming in hot. No, we're not. <laughs> we are we're, coming in pretty. <laughs> we are fine. It's just the speed of Bellatrix. You're not used to yeah. it. You're not accustomed to Jesus. this luxury car. Yeah. Um, so those Blake are was, pets. Blake and I were texting last night. He's looking at buying a house. He's looking at yeah. homes. We're such a potentially now. It's so weird. Yeah. So so weird. Got to get a house near me, dude, so we can hang out. Yeah. Think about all the videos we can make. <laughs> oh, gosh. We can't tell everyone where I'm taking you. I'm taking Blake to the airport, but I can't tell you why. Or what airport? Not allowed. Well, they probably know. <laughs> they probably know. <laughs> I, we'll be able to tell them later on why I'm taking you to the airport. But yeah. I can't tell you them. Tell them that now. Yeah, it's top secret. It's uh. We need to fire classified. through. We're doing a really poor job of going through questions right now. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, how did you and Cody meet? How did we meet? This is a... We kind of talked about that on the first podcast a little bit. Yeah. I recruited Blake my senior year. Uh, I recruited Blake to IU. Like, you stayed at my apartment with James. Right. And that's when we first started to get to know each other. Yeah, it was started with uh, recruiting, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cody was a senior in college and I was a senior in high school. Yeah. Came on a recruiting trip and then uh, it was just love from there, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I do remember the moment you told me you were going to commit to IU. We were playing Grand Theft Auto on my couch. Yeah. And I was so pumped. Because, <laughs> like, you were one of the best recruits in the country. And I was like, gosh. Yeah. I remember that. That was super cool. Um, Next are question. you Are you ever really nervous for a meet or are you used to it by now? You can That's take a good that. question. Um, for me, I kind of like to put a certain level of pressure on myself. Um, especially if it's not, like... A world championships or some, something like that. Um, it, I feel like it's kind of hard, you know, for like just a regular dual meet during the year. It's kind of hard and like not that fun to race without like any yeah. pressure. In the zone, people. I get that question all the time. What kind of music do you listen to? Yeah. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I love Eminem. Um, his new album Berserk was legit. I think that the Venom song from the Venom movie. Is I haven't really seen. Oh, I need to see that. You it's just good, reminded me. Yeah, you got to see that movie. It's yeah. been solid. You're gonna really like it. Okay, where did we? This Can't one. Believe is this, oh my, 330. 300, yeah, click on that. There we go. We got. Promise we'll answer. Probably at none least of them. twenty. We're <laughs> so bad. We're always like we're gonna get through so many questions. We get through like ten. I know. We're doing a terrible job. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Next one. Next. This is on Cody's now. Okay. Is this okay? Okay. Um, do you think supplements and swimming really matter? I guess right. a no. I don't know. I think multivitamin is like pretty basic for everyone. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. But I've also, there's been time where I take like creatine and beta and like some other things. Beta alanine. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know, I swam well and then I like stopped for maybe like a year or two and I like kept swimming well. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even, I'm not taking, I take almost nothing right now. I take multivitamin and creatine. You take creatine? Yeah. Do you take crealkaline or creatine? Yeah, crealkaline. Yeah, I take crealkaline too. That's pretty much it. I don't, it's just, I don't recommend supplements for people who are like in high school or younger. I just, yeah. I don't think it's a necessity. That I get asked a lot too. Right. About supplements. Like I don't want to promote supplements and tell people that you need to do this and you do that. I think like far more important than supplements are just, it's diet. diet yeah. It's really diet. Cause like if you have a crappy diet, but you're taking a bunch of supplements. Yeah. It's not gonna, no, nothing, yeah. <laughs> no, it's gonna, you're, like, you're not going to get any benefit from that at all. Eating donuts. Yeah, and, <laughs> oh, but I'm taking a multivitamin. It's so <laughs> funny. Like even some guys on the team, like they've got all this pre-workout stuff that they take. Yeah. And then I see them after practice, like getting milkshakes, and brownies, <laughs> like, I mean, every once in a while it's okay. But if you're doing that regularly, Right. Like just, like, use your common sense. Yeah, man. definitely diet is like he, nearly 100%. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, this this, Sometimes this question some, will be too long. Some long ones. Yeah. Some long ones. Um, how do you motivate each other although you train different strokes? 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like, I mean, not saying Cody doesn't motivate me, yeah. but like the people that I'm training next to in each set Dude, or each practice. you have really good partner training. Yeah, partners. yeah. I like, I hate focusing on the practice. Yeah. Um, I like focusing on trying to win around me, like yeah. win the things around me, and that's, that's motivating yeah. for me. Um, thoughts on ice baths? Do you take ice baths? I, I hate ice baths, but I do them every once in a while. I really like ice baths. I, <laughs> not in between, like, like a championship meet, not in between, like no. not during, but afterwards and maybe like after a really hard practice or a hard week. And I like contrast baths so I much. Like, I like contrast baths too. Yeah. I think the most important thing is making sure you just heat yourself up afterwards. Yeah. You don't want to be shivering for a long period of time. Yeah. I don't really it's all know. About circulation. I don't really. I don't know all the science behind yeah, ice bath, but I'm pretty yeah. sure they said that there's not any data that supports that it helps you recover it, any dude, faster. For like the but it does. Time, I think it helps for pain. Well, the biggest. The one thing we know for certain is that icing obviously reduces inflammation. So if you are firing your, if your entire body is firing at maximum capacity then there's gonna be some swelling and some levels of in, like micro levels of inflammation in your body and icing it could help kind of mitigate that for a short period of time right but it's just I think that you can really overdo it and you don't want to you don't want to shut down your central nervous system yeah so you got to warm yourself back up and back to that last question about being motivated by someone who swims other strokes sometimes I get pumped up just seeing people do fast stuff right like I'll be in a different group at IU and I'll see I mean even you guys go on a lactate set like I'll see you break 20 from a, in a 50 yard free in the middle of practice in the middle of a set and like I'm not doing the same set or the same practice but I see that and I'm like damn like I I need to pick it up or like I get <laughs> I get pumped up though like right. that kind of stuff pumps me up right you know um, I, I like ice baths because I feel good like after my legs feel good but I like contrast more than ice so I, do too. I don't really know yeah um, let's see <laughs> doing a way better job holding the camera now this one yeah uh, I should have just grabbed a go if I had a, a lot GoPro, of questions about I could stick it right there that do you would, think this would stay there Probably just set not. it down see what happens probably not Probably not. Oh, it doesn't even fit. Yeah, it doesn't fit. It's too it's too bulky. Our camera our camera setup is too professional and too legit. What about that? I don't know. But yeah, that, that works. It's not, it's not, Do it's I look silly? Not it a, looks fine. Not looks a good fine. angle, but whatever. Move the water bottle. Yeah, yeah, that's way better. Okay. What are we at? 20 oh, that's minutes? Much oh, we got better. plenty of time. Okay. Um a lot of stuff about you <laughs> asking about you and Tier. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> Take it, guys. Do pro swimmers pay for pool time and coaching? Uh, some do. Some do. Depends on. Depends on where you're at. Yeah, depends Completely on where. Completely depends pros. on where you're at. Um, let's see. Do you have a motto? This is for both of us. Do you have a motto that you train and live by? Mm, I don't know. Like for a long time, this isn't my motto, but it's one of my favorite quotes, and it's. Today I'm doing things that other people won't so that tomorrow I can do things that other people can't. And that's something that I kind of reminded myself a lot leading into the 2016 games that I was just, I was physically putting myself through every form of physical torture from a training aspect that I could. <laughs> just to remind myself, it's like I did everything I could. You right. Know? I don't know. I don't have like a personal mantra or anything. Yeah, I don't either. I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's mm. see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um... <laughs> Dude, there are a lot. Can you improve in swimming even if you only swim two to three times a week? You can. You yeah. Can. You absolutely you, can. You can. I don't I think don't you could. It. Yeah, yeah. I don't <laughs> think you would improve if you were swimming, you know, six or more. Um, but I mean, it, it also depends on where you're starting from. Well, it you're also starting like from when, no when swims you say it also depends on like what it what constitutes improvement. So like, if you're swimming two to three times a week, if you're full full solely focusing on technique driven types of training then absolutely. But if you're trying to get more physically, like aerobically fit, then two or three times probably isn't gonna be enough. Right. I mean, you know, it could be, it depends on how much other types of cross training you're doing. Yeah. But I think that the honest answer is like, it, yes, like you absolutely can, it's just a matter of what you're looking to work on. Yeah. Are you trying to Are you trying to grow your aerobic base? Are you trying to improve your anaerobic capacity? Are you trying to improve your technique, your efficiency? Like there's too many subsets to just answer that question in a very umbrella type of way. Yeah. Um, how many times have you swam the mile? Ooh. Well, Ron used to make me do it once a year. Yeah. Up, I kind of want to do the mile, like, soonish. Dude, you'd probably have, well, you would have a pretty solid mile, I think. I mean, it would be, like, you would do, it you wouldn't would be under 15. Would you go, you're talking, so long, you're talking long course? Oh, no, not oh, long course. Gross. No, I don't know if I could do it long gross. course. Yeah. But yards, I don't know. Uh, 
be pretty I'd hope good. an under 1530. I want to see what you would go on a 500 yard free shaved. Yeah. That's what I want to see. I'm leaving the the yards behind me. Leave the distance stuff to Michael Berniger. Yeah. <laughs> he can do that Let's stuff. Let's see. Um, I'm an adult. I'm an adult who has just started competitively swimming last year. Uh, what advice would you give to an adult who has just started swimming competitively? Just started swimming. First of all, congrats. Yeah. That's awesome. I always like hearing people trying new stuff, especially when they start to get older. I think that's really cool. What um, advice would I give you? To someone that's just starting? Probably, I mean, you just gotta try, I mean, if you're just starting, build a little bit of a base. I think get a lot of yards in and, and race a lot because you have to know how you like to swim each race. Um, and I think we see it a lot when, when foreigners come to the U.S. and come and train at IU. They don't, and maybe they never trained short course, they were only training long course. They don't know how to like swim the yard races. It's totally different. Yeah. Tr transferring into a different, yeah. yeah distance. Just, ri just swim a ton and race a ton, I would or say. Or as much as you can. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Also, don't get too discouraged, especially because swimming is such, it's like, it's so hard. Like, we don't even, we, don't, we take it for granted like how hard it actually physically is to like do right. really well. Right. Just don't get discouraged. Would you ever come back to Australia? This is for Heck you. Heck yeah, I would. I want to come back to I Australia. I want to go I love that first. Place. Like, haven't been there. I've been two or three different times. I love that place. Yeah. We need to visit Jess Hansen. We need to go visit her again. Or, or visit her for the first time. Yeah, I met some of the Australian guys on the World Cup circuit and uh, really liked them a lot. And they're trying to get me to go to Australia. But uh, I don't know, I'd have to go to like a meet or something, mm -hmm. but I definitely want to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, let's see. What do we have in store for do us? Do you have any what do we have advice for brushstroke pullout? Brushstroke pullout? You need a lot of upper body strength and the timing of the dolphin kick is key. So, it, it, like advice for breaststroke pull, like that's such a generic question, yeah. but um, definitely you need a lot of upper body pull down lat engagement. So, like med ball slams, overhead med ball slams are like the best thing you can possibly do to increase your fast twitch, um, your overhead strength, you know, how hard you can fire a med ball down to the ground on land, like that's key, I would say. Um, it's just technical. You just gotta work on it. Yeah. Okay. You so have a really good breaststroke pull out. People don't realize like you have a super. Yeah. Good I haven't been doing much breaststroke at all. Like I, think I, it's just I did. A... You're so strong and you're really efficient. Yeah. You have a great breaststroke pull out. Yeah. Um, a lot of these questions are like they've repeated. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any superstitions before you swim a race? And if you do, what what do are you? they? I do not. I don't really have any either. Yeah. Some people have to be like last on the blocks or first on the blocks. Yeah. You know who's shockingly superstitious is Ray. Yeah. It's just kind of comical. I think Lily needs to be like last on the blocks. Like she's the last person to get up on the blocks. I think. <laughs> I think. I, I could I be wrong know. about that. I, I don't know. She also uh, likes to stare people down. She's <laughs> just mean. Um, let's see. What else we got? Dude, we're making really good time on this drive right yeah, now. Yeah, we, we are. What time it. is it? It's 12, 12. 12, 12, dude. You're money, money in the bank right now. Killing it. And it's not even raining, which is good. It was so gross. How do you get morning. into the zone? It's pretty. Uh, How do I get into the zone? Well, bef before races, I like I, I don't know about you, but like I visualize my races before I swim them, like in my head. Yeah. You know, like I visualize what it feels like to to hit the wall, to turn, to push up. I don't know. I don't know what I do to get in the zone. It's like pretty easy for me. I kind of I like look forward to the racing so much that it's like I don't know. Do you do any kind of visualization before? Um, I should, but I mean. I don't know. Not not so much. Not before, but yeah. I mean, you definitely did a lot of visualizing, like breaking. Yeah, I, I think about a lot of times yeah. and like the race, but yeah. Um, yeah. What else do we have in store? A lot of you have a lot of Australian fans. I do. Yeah. I have a lot of Australian fans. Yeah. I need to go out watching from Australia. Australia. Keep up the good work. Sweet. Yeah. I want to go back to Australia. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've never been to Sydney. I want to go to Sydney. Yeah, and I like have to when, go when to, I talk to people who have been there, like that's where everyone's gone, but I've never gone there. Yeah, I have to go to Melbourne, mm. according to Mitch, I think. Is that what Mitch told you? I think so. I like that dude. Yeah, I like his glasses. <laughs> Shout out to Mitch in the vlog. Yeah, I yeah. Like his glasses. What stretches do you do? 
Oh god, that's too loaded. It's too long. So many questions. So a many lot. stretches. A ton of stretches. You can't overstretch. Static stretching after workout, not before. Yeah. That's the advice I'll give. Yeah. Um, do 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 do. Oh, yeah, we're not gonna make this light. That's all right. That's okay. We're like legit almost to the airport right now. Yeah, we're we are. Killing this drive. Bellatrix knows what she's up to. How was USA Swimming for you when you were in age groups? How was it, Blake? I mean, it was good. Um, <laughs> not really sure that's what not they a, mean. That's not a very good. Age. Yeah. How was USA Swimming for you when you were in age groups? I don't know. How was age group swimming? I think I loved it, man. It was like the greatest thing. Yeah. Going. Did you ever make a zone trip or uh, anything like that? Yeah, I made a mega zone. So fun. Are those never, still a thing? Mega zone? I don't know. I never even heard of that. You never heard of that? Never it's heard like. Of that. Um, that's a thing. I don't know, like 10 states maybe instead of like three or four. Oh, wow. Our zones were like three or four states, like oh. Ohio, Illinois, Michigan. Zones are like the fastest kids in a certain age group get invited to make like a super team and then you compete against other zones. Yeah. It's super fun. I think it's your state, isn't it? Yeah. Like, Well, I mean, the thing with me is we were always Southern California, even though I grew up in Vegas. Oh, okay. But we were in that zone. Yeah. Okay. Um, yep, 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 yep. You could probably answer this one. Yep, yep. What's well, up? Probably not. No? Nah. No? Did you call them? <sighs> no. No? <laughs> People keep asking me if I have a name for my followers. That's just the weirdest thing. I would really? never do that. It's creepy. Yeah, I got asked that a lot. Is that a, is that a requirement? Like I don't know. To... That must be like a U That's like a YouTube thing, Disney or Nickelodeon. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Probably, probably Disney, but like... De I mean, well, definitely. You hit a nerve. <laughs> <laughs> you struck a chord. It, I would have to say Disney owns too many great properties. Yeah. But I love Nickelodeon. Like I loved the Rugrats, Rocket Power, and Hey Arnold SpongeBob. when I was young. SpongeBob. Yeah. Dude, the the creator of SpongeBob just passed away. Really? Yeah. Didn't know that. Um, Isn't that crazy? I love that guy. I love SpongeBob. I think there was like I read a study once that said people who watch SpongeBob like it can actually make you stupider. I don't know how true that is, but no I still way. like Spongebob, so, False. yeah, probably. Other than swimming, what is your favorite sport? To watch or to play? I uh, guess we can answer both. Say. I would say American football, to watch. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, you to, know what? To play? <laughs> this is so out there, but I was infatuated by watching curling during the Olympics. Oh, yeah, that was good. I that got love huge. That, that was I like, love that. yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's see. Let's run through these, dude. So many. We're not doing a very good job answering your name. No, it's all right. I feel like I failed the viewers. Oh, that truck almost didn't make it. Ballsy, very ballsy. <laughs> all this dead um, time, people listening via iTunes are like, "What is wrong with these guys?" What do you mean? I mean, like, it's like, oh, they can't see the video. Well, the, if they're not watching the video, uh, they're listening, right, and, they're, right. and they're just like listening to nonsense. <laughs> two, two idiots just sitting in a car. <laughs> We're not professionals. Um, we I'm 33, trying to finally become stronger as a freestyle swimmer. Any advice for some brushstroke basics? Even though I'm a freestyle swimmer, mm -hmm. it's pretty mm -hmm. specific. Well, if you're trying to get stronger, if it, from a brushstroke standpoint, I think like some brushstroke pull. Yeah. is good like even our sprint coach makes our our feet freestyle sprinters do a fair amount of like breaststroke pull and drill work on their on certain days of the week just because it's like it's it's brute force and power and it's like it's learning how to mechanically pull yourself in the right way in a really strong manner that's what i would say yeah i think for for swimming strength one of the things i like is to wear a drag suit Ooh. um and paddles yeah uh, and just like Go weeks on weeks with drag suits and paddles, and Once you just you get a lot of like off. strength in your it's arms. So and, yeah, love that. Um, best. What's your favorite snack during a meet? During a meet? Uh, mm. It says during, before, and after. I'm a big fan of those Go Macro bars right now. Go Macro bars. They're like those vegan bars. Are, I think I just ate one actually. Um, fruit. Um, I really like those Isogenics bars. Those are really good. I know I keep mentioning bars, but I really don't like eat like a lot of bars. Um, I like trail mix, nuts, almonds, 
Cheerios. Jesus, just I don't eat do everything. a lot. I don't do a lot of grains. Well, they asked <laughs> answers, son. <laughs> wow, you should write a book. That's not a question. <laughs> no, <though>. I'm not, <laughs> I couldn't. I'm not. I'm not smart enough to write a book. It sounds like a lot of work, and I'm. Tr I'm trying to graduate first. <laughs> um, you guys ever? <laughs> yeah, you were talking about this. You guys ever played water polo? I love water polo. Not, uh, we played a couple times when I was in college. It got too things. It got too aggressive. Yeah. Like we got too competitive, and, and then it like it caused problems. Hmm. Ray doesn't let us play anymore. Yeah, I haven't played in college. You haven't no, played? No, no, never oh, played at so IU. Far. I don't think. Um, all right, that's 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 a lot of. That's questions. a lot of questions. Yeah, Just want to yeah. wrap it up. Yeah. All right, guys, we're almost to the airport now for this secret drop off Blake mission. Make sure you're following Blake on social media at Blake Peroni. At Blake Peroni. Make sure you're following me on social media at Swim Miller on Twitter, at Cody Miller on Instagram. Vlogs every Wednesdays, QA videos every week. I'm trying to do QA videos every week at least. Podcasts regularly, semi regularly. I'm sorry this was such a terrible quality, but people ask for video. This is what yeah, you get when we're yeah. driving in a car. Yeah, I hope the whole thing's like focused at least. Did we have to mess with the focus? I don't know. This is the really longest fine. I've ever held a camera in my life, so. Um, yeah. Yeah, pressure Cody into watching anime. No, uh, no, no, I'm not watching we need, anime. We need, because a not lot of the guys on the team watch anime and we talk nope. about it all the time nope. and Cody feels like we're talking about a different language. It's because it is, you're <laughs> talking about a different language. All right, all right, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.